this message is uh, to all the servants of God. It's an advice from me to all the servants of God that I urge you to walk in the holiness of God by being an apostle appointed by Christ with authority which I received from Christ. I'm speaking this to you that you, may you walk in the holiness of God. May you walk in the faithfulness of God in the ministry which God has given you and do not work for God just for, you know, just for the, you know, um, appreciation or worldly gains or anything else. Keep always Jesus first. Focus only on Jesus first. And whatever you do, point it to Jesus. Let it point to Jesus. And not for any worldly gains, not for earthly gains, but wo work for God faithfully. And let your life be clean and pure and holy. You may think that nobody else is watching, nobody knows, people respect me and honor me. Uh, you know, I have a lot of uh, people who work under me and work for me in the kingdom of God. But God is seeing you and watching you, my dear people of God. This message is for the servants of God. It's a call from God for you to walk in holiness. When you are preaching, you are teaching the people of God, God wants you to be holy. God wants your life to be clean. Keep your eyes always fixed on God, not on the worldly things, not on the bodily desires and run away from sexual immorality. Preserve your body, spirit, body and soul in the word of God. Preserve your body and your body is for the Lord and it's not for worldly things, it's for God. Bible, it says, Bible says that Holy Spirit dwells in us and we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. You are the temple of the Holy Spirit. You cannot make your body to be a body for prostitutes you have to keep your body clean and holy because holy spirit dwells inside of you so my dear servants of god is an advice for you and it's a call wake up call from god to you that you need to walk in holiness and if you're not right in this area fix this fix this area ask the holy spirit to help you and you take a decision to walk in holiness surrender yourself to god this is an advice for you from me and I'm a woman of God, a Raksha, and I'm an apostle of Christ, appointed by him himself to correct the church, to lead the church, to guide the church. God bless you all. I love you all, my dear precious people of God. Amen.